Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a video that is good for Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 users. How do you want to actually extract uh, the music that you have on your CD collection using the Windows Media Player? Now Windows Media Player is part of Windows 10, Windows 8 and Windows 7. It's been part of Windows for a long time. It's still there today, although Microsoft in Windows 10 is trying to kind of move away from it but it still works and it's an easy uh, program to actually extract your CD collection. So basically just enter a CD into the drive of your computer and basically start media player. So um, if you're in Windows 7 you have it in the programs you can also just type media player in search in Windows 8, Windows 10 click on it. Now on the left side you should see different folders but you'll see also the CD you enter. It should be there and it should appear in there. Um, basically, if you insert a CD, it appears in Media Player immediately. So what you want to do is simply rip CD. You see here there's an option, rip CD. So basically you'll go here, but first check for the rip settings. It tells you the format it's going to actually uh, extract it to. I would um, probably tell you to choose MP3 and the reason why is because it's such a universal format that MP3 is the best way to go. Then there's audio quality. I would say 192 kilobits per second is quite alright. You know what, after 192 kilobits per second I'm not sure for most people that it's um, you know better but if you want to have the highest quality, 320 kilobits per second. Now, be warned, the higher the kilobits per second, the bigger the files are going to be. So if you need to have smallest files, you can just choose 128 kilobits per second. These will make the MP3s the smallest possible. So I'll choose 192 in my case. Now, once that is chosen, MP3 and 192 kilobits, I'll click Rip CD. Now, you see here there's little check marks in front of each song of my CD. Uh, if you don't want to rip all of the CD, one of the things that you'll want to do is simply remove the check marks in front of the songs you don't want. But apart from that, just click Rip CD. And you're going to see that the ripping process is going to start by itself. So you see here there's a progression happening on each of the songs. Uh, don't worry, if a CD lasts an hour, it doesn't take an hour to rip. Uh, you know, these are digital files on a CD, so it takes a few minutes, you know, as you see here. It's already um, almost done on the first song of this uh, Bruce Springsteen album that I have. So you can rip all of your CD collection, and for that, it's going to have a copy of MP3 files on your computer. You'll be able to put them on an iPhone a Android phone, an MP3 player, or uh, an iPad, an iPod Touch. So that's the good thing about this. Where do we see the songs that are saved? Simple media player always saves your song in the music folder of your computer and it will give it the name of the artist and the name of the album inside that artist. So if you have four or five different CDs or the same artists, they'll be divided into four or five folders with the name of each album, which is the cool thing about it. And you see here, the MP3s are right there. They could be played with any piece of software that simply reads MP3s. So it's as easy as that and it's pretty cool. Now you might say, I put the CD, I don't see it appear here, I don't see nothing. One of the things that you might want to try if it doesn't work is to check with the file explorer. Is the file explorer telling you there's something in your CD? You see here it's telling me that my uh, drive has audio CD. Now that means it sees that there's an audio CD. If the drive that you have doesn't see the, the CD you inserted, there could be a problem with the drive itself. Um, and it's usually not a problem with Windows. If it doesn't see it, it's the drive that has a problem, not Windows. So don't go into settings trying to find out why your drive is not working. It is mostly a drive problem when that happens. 
So hope that you uh, enjoyed this video and that it helps you save your CD collection and turn them into digital files for your computer and all of your mobile devices that you might want to listen to music with. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hopefully you enjoy your videos and we'll come back to our channel.